awit ng Pilipinas. Ladies and gentlemen, honored visitors, members, volunteers, and colleagues, to everyone who attended this virtual seminar, good afternoon to you all. It is my greatest pleasure to invite you all to our virtual seminar entitled Courage is Fire, Bullying is Smoke, the Impacts of Cyberbullying Among Senior High School Students. It is our greatest pleasure that you accepted our invitation, so please allow me to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. In today's virtual seminar, we are focusing on the impacts of cyberbullying among senior high school students. Some students who are being bullied on social media have psychological harm. For example, the people having low self-esteem, school failure, anger, anxiety, depression, school avoidance, school violence, and suicide. It is caused by cyberbullying. So in this program, we intend to provide and justify the impacts of cyberbullying on the students and the use of social media. Even though we cannot stop the bullying, we can still help the people who undergo low self-esteem, school failure, anger, anxiety, depression, school avoidance, and school violence. We can still help them to live freely. By the end of this virtual seminar, people can identify the effects or impacts of cyberbullying among senior high school students, which means after this, Students can now help themselves to live and do social media freely. Even in these circumstances, people or students should go in their lives to commit what they want to be, what they want to do, and follow their dreams by the use of social media. We will guarantee to all of you that this virtual seminar can give you benefit and can give you the ideas of why and how bullying happens. So stand by, we will give you the greatest welcome greetings. Thank you to everyone who attends our virtual seminar. 
Thank you for being here with us today. What is our topic all about? When students persist to divert, they, they, they often experience emotional abuse nowadays by lacing internet and social media bullying can be anywhere which can harass a lot of students who has low self-esteem. A lot of students was low self-esteem, so our group decided to make a presentation regarding on how can we stop cyberbullying by going further. So our topic talks about the awareness of cyberbullying. We want to spread to the world that cyberbullying is not a laughing joke. There are types of cyberbullying which is number one, exclusion. That is deliberate act of leaving you out. Number two, harassment. is a sustained, constant, and international, intentional form of bullying. Number three, outing is a deliberate act to embarrass or publicly humiliate student number four cyber stalking a type of bullying which is making real treats to a student number five dissing is an act of sending and posting cruel information about the student no camera tricks were used in this commercial just biolink vco five minute hot oil for intense moisture, now also in shampoo. Mula sa splash. Ano na nga ang pangalan niya? Sofia Bianca po. Pakitanggal ang bela. So how can we stop cyberbullying? Well, our group have five steps on how to prevent cyberbullying to your friends and students. Step one, notice. Recognize if there has been a change in mood and or behavior. Step two, talk. Ask questions to learn what is happening, how did it start and who are involved. Step three, document. Keep off record what is happening and where. Step four, report. Most social media platforms and schools have clear policies and reporting processes. Step 5. Support. Peers, monitors, and trusted adults can be sometimes intervened publicly to positively influence. When I was about 13 or 14, I got cyberbullied by my friend from school. She used to write really horrible things about me online. When she knew that I was reading them, she wrote even worse things. I'll always remember that one. Because everyone could read what she was saying about me. It felt like everyone thought the same thing. I couldn't get away from her online, so I had to literally calculate a physical distance to be away from her at school. I ended up leaving that friendship group. I kept it all to myself, just bottled up inside. Looking back, I should have talked to someone earlier. Because once I reached out to one, two, three people. It became a sort of support network. The more people I talked to about it, the easier it became. One in four young Australians report being bullied on a regular basis. You're not alone. Reach out for help. Statement of the problem. Cyberbullying, as the name implies, is the use of cyberspace as a mechanism to bully others known or unknown to the bully. Cyberbullying has caused significant issues for those involved, ranging from extreme displays of anger to suicide attempts. It has been reported that as much as 82% of students have had some measure of experience with cyberbullying. As a cyberbully, as a victim, or classified as both a bully and a victim. Researchers are yet to pinpoint the cause of cyberbullying and what perpetuates cyber victimization. Although numerous studies have investigated the relationship amongst variables such as age, gender, and psychological, social psychological constructs, and cyberbullying or cyber victimization. Ma? Oh. Ampun po ba ako? Ha? Sino naman nagsabi sa inyan? Kasi ma, lagi na akong inaasar sa school eh. Ang 
Punta ba ko mo eh? Anak, di ba sinabi ko sa'yo huwag ka magpapa-apekto sa sinasabi ng iba? Pero ma, <laughs> sabihin mo sa akin ma, abot po ba ako? Ha? Ma! Abot ba ako? Ha? May paliwanag mo po ma. May paliwanag mo, bakit may apat na baso ko sa likod? <laughs> Matagal na namin itinago ito sa iyo, anak. Pero sa palagay ko pa na po nagmalaman mo. Discussing the impact of cyberbullying, cyberbullying literature suggests that victims generally manifest psychological problems such as depression, anxiety, loneliness, low self-esteem, social exclusion, school phobias, and poor academic performance, family problems, school violence, and delinquent behavior, which brings them to experience suicidal thoughts as a means of escaping the torture. Moreover, Research findings have shown that cyberbullying causes emotional and sociological damage to defenseless victims, as well as psychosocial problems including inappropriate behaviors, drinking alcohol, smoking, depression, and low commitment to academics. The victims of cyberbullying under great emotional stress are unable to concentrate on their studies, and thus, their academic progress is adversely affected. Since the victims are often hurt psychologically, the depressive effect of cyberbullying prevents students from excelling in their studies. A very nice and thankful afternoon to all of our distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I am very grateful to be here with you all today. I would like to express my gratitude and sincere appreciation for everyone here today and for the people who take time to participate in our virtual seminar entitled Courage is Fire, Bullying is Smoke the impacts of cyberbullying among senior high school students which is presented by our team, Group 4, the team behind this project. I am very grateful to have this opportunity to successfully present this project to you all today. Thank you everyone for taking the time to be here today and for listening to us. This project would have not been successful without all of you, so I'm giving you the warmest thank you for supporting us till the end. I would like to congratulate our team for successfully organizing the team. This is not a situation that will resolve itself in a matter of hours. It will take time to complete the project. This opportunity has given us ways to put all our ideas into reality and given us full potential. To the panelists, moderators, volunteers, and our adoring audience who supported and participated to make this event a success, I would like to express my greatest gratitude to you all. This project would not happen without your participation. Closing remarks. First of all, I would like to give credit to all the journals we read and search for. Without them, we would never learn how to defend ourselves from cyberbullying and learn to respect other people at all times. Being bullied on social media is the worst time for senior high school students and especially for people who usually use social media. Even though we cannot stop cyberbullying, we shall not let the people who have bad intentions win. We shall work for us to be better people with good intentions. By preventing this kind of bullying, people who have been bullied should do the following. Educate themselves, discuss bullying, teach that it's okay to report the abuse, Establish firm policies, encourage active student participation, and discussion making. This following can make the person more confident in expressing herself or himself to others. 
These tips will help you to be more confident in yourself and be more active in participating in any activities. Also, you can learn how to prevent the effect of cyberbullying. Even though we cannot stop the spreading of cyberbullying around the world, still by believing in ourselves that we can surpass the challenges, we will be successful in what we want to pursue. Through the presentation that was presented in the seminar, you will be able to know why people wanted to bully and what are the effects of being bullied on the internet. Also, in the seminar, people will learn how to prevent the effect of being cyberbullied. As we close the seminar, you will be confused with the information being listed in your minds, even though you are bombarded with the details and information that you wanted to get. Still, this presentation is a success. This seminar would not happen without the presence of all the participants who participated. We, the Team Group 4, STEAM 8P, express our gratitude towards all of you. Thank you for attending our seminar. Once again, good afternoon to all of you and thank you for attending our seminar.